Growing beautiful flowers like these from seed can make any novice gardener, like myself, feel like a total pro. In this video, I'll show you how I grew these Cherokee Sunset Black Eyed Susans. So here's what the seed packet looks like. You get 20 seeds for $3.49, and they're really tiny, so they're stored in this little pouch inside. I started mine on Valentine's Day, which might have been a little too early for me, but you'll want to start these in a cell tray 8 to 10 weeks before your last frost date. When sowing, you do not have to create a divot in the soil then drop the seed in and cover it up. You just wanna drop or press these guys onto the surface of pre-moistened soil. This is a super important step because these particular seeds need light to actually sprout or germinate. I saw a lot of one-star reviews on Botanical Interest's website for this flower and couldn't help but wonder if it was because this crucial step was neglected. If your seed can't see the light, it will not grow. Once they are set in place, I watered them thoroughly, placed a humidity dome onto the tray, and let them sit under my grow light and on my heat mats. If you're interested in any of the products I use to start these seeds, I'll have everything linked below. Your seeds should germinate in about 10 to 15 days, and this is what mine looked like at 11 days. Out of the 20 seeds that were sown, only 11 had germinated, which is a 55% germination rate. After 24 days, this is what they looked like, and as you can see, those baby sprouts are starting to look more like established seedlings. This clip was taken exactly five months after sowing. Once it warmed up enough in my area, I dug a hole into my native soil, added some rich organic compost, planted the seedlings, then topped it off with more compost. And the plants grew so fast and started producing buds around the four and a half month mark. This seems maybe like a long time to have to wait for flowers, but of course I was staying busy with many other garden projects that I had, and once I had blooms, I realized they are so worth it. Not only are these plants first year blooming perennials, but they produce flowers like crazy. Over 10 years of breeding and selection of these flowers resulted in colors of yellow, gold, burnt orange, bronze, and most with deep red centers, all found on three to five inch double or semi-double blooms. Out of all of them though, these were my personal favorite. I just thought everything about them was absolutely perfect. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I am a novice gardener, and one of the lessons I learned was to not cut these flowers, or any flowers at that, during the heat of the day. Because a flower that is sitting in direct sun is going to have less water in it due to evaporation, the cut blooms will become droopy immediately. Now these did spring back to life after sitting in water for a while, but I wanted to do a proper vase life test, so I cut another batch of flowers in case this initial wilting affected the overall vase life. I wasn't left with as many flowers as before, but this is what I got. As you can see, these beautiful double blooms have just begun to open, while these other ones seem to be fully open. So this is day one, and I'm just using RO or drinking water with no flower food. On day three, you can see how these double blooms have opened. These buds look about the same, and it's probably because they were too immature to have cut in the first place, but they were connected to the other ones. And these ones are still very open and bright. On day seven, the blooms have opened up even more, and they are looking like they are at their peak beauty, a week into this base life test, although these immature buds have hardly changed. So I did go on vacation for a week, I know, bad timing to do a vase test, but this is what I came back to. For not getting the water refreshed for the last week and a half, I think these look pretty dang good at day 15 in the vase. Here's a quick shot of what the plants looked like in late December. They aren't exactly thriving, but they will put out blooms until frost. Well, besides a little b-roll, that is all I have for you guys. I hope I've inspired you to grow these flowers or any flowers because they do bring so much beauty to life. When I see the world going crazy, I have peace looking at my garden because I know my creator is involved in these miraculous little details that bring us food, beauty, and just pure pleasure. And if God is in control of the little things, I know he is in control of the big things. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!